Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm here today with another butterfly themed project. I seem stuck on butterflies. But yeah, maybe there's a big butterfly project coming up, you never know. So what I'm going to make today is some snippety strips. I've made these before. I've used masking tape for them. Um, and I made horizontal ones. What I want to do today is make some that could be used for belly bands or pockets, the edges of pockets. And what I'm going to make them on is this. This is a Chester City Transport bus ticket roller. It is a vintage one, this. I've no idea how old it is, but ooh, I remember I was working in the 90s when phone numbers were changed so that our area codes had a different number of digits in and this is from before then so it's pre-90s yeah well, early 90s I think it was when that was changed so yeah I'm just going to start by ripping some off now I know I'm going to want to use them as belly bands and I know I'm going to want to use them as pocket edges so I'm thinking about the height I normally make journals at the normally the pages are normally eight inches to eight and a quarter inches so I'm going to take a piece off that is eight and a half inches just so I can cut it down slightly so I said I'm going to rip it but I'm I am going to rip it but I'm going to measure it too so that's eight and a half so I'm going to rip it there yeah I might make two, I might not, but I'll rip two off ready. Yeah. So there we go. And just to make these lay flat, because they're a little bit annoying like that. Don't know if you've ever done any ribbon curling for presents. If you do that, yeah, <laughs> I've done it a bit too much. Oh. There we go, we've got it flat. There we go. So we've now got two flat pieces. We're going to make them that way. The ones I made before also had lacy edges. I'm not bothering with lacy edges. This time I'm basically just going to use little bits and bobs out of my snippet tins and my tickets and butterflies. They're going to be quite quick these because I'm going to use some large items. Right, what I'm going to do on these strips first is put some double sided tape on. I would use wider if I got wider, but I don't have wider at the minute. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to have to turn it back this way to put my tape on. That's just the way I work. So I'm just going to put set three strips on. And then the first layer that we put on, everything will then attach to this double sided tape. I'll do the edge one first and then the middle. So I'll prepare two, even though we might only do one. Oh, I could time myself and see just how quick they are. Mm. Oh, we've not done the middle one on this, so that's that. I've got more room on my desk now because I've, yeah, I didn't do the sorting on video. I've sorted out all my pen pots and scissor pots and brush pots and knife pots and <laughs> just pots. I do have things that I don't use often stored in drawers, but the things I use often, I have in pots on my table. And I seem to have just overcrowded my table. I've got way too much stuff. So I've had a sort out and it's given me quite a bit of desk space back. So yeah, right. I've now got a pot of things I use often. Ooh. So I'm gonna get my do one at a time. I'm going to get my blunt craft knife to take backing off this. That's not got it. Let's burnish it first. That always helps. Too busy talking. Forgot what I was doing. That's me all over. It's it's quite thin this paper bus ticket paper it's the type of paper do you know what i'm saying that it's the type of paper you get on buses these days can't remember when i last went on a bus it's perhaps a year and a half ago this does not want to come off 
Oh, there we go, we did it. Yeah, I haven't been on a bus for a long time. Last time I were on a bus then, it's the, that type of paper. But like I said, because this is vintage, it's got a lovely colour to it. It's not bright white. I put some bright white paper next to it, you can see. It's just aged lovely. Not that you're going to see it. <laughs> so, that were a bit pointless, weren't it? Oh, what are we like? Come on, you know you want to come off. Here we go. Gotcha. Right. Oh, curling a little bit. We can live with that. We can live with that. When we put a few heavy things on, it'll probably uncurl. Right, I'm going to start off with some tickets. Uh, I'm just going to get a variety. I want some larger ones underneath. And then I'm going to put smaller ones on top. We're going with this, uh, excuse me, head chew. Bless me. Oh, I hope that's not a fever. I have got my fan on as well. I hope you can't hear that. It's pretty warm here today. But yeah, oh, yeah, I don't want to be snivelling through video. Right, here we go. They're all pretty similar, much of a muchness, these tickets. We'll make the colour up with the butterflies and the smaller tickets we put on top. So I'm going to make a start. I'm going to overhang slightly. Oh, we're doing it that way, aren't we? Oh, I nearly mucked up there straight away. So I'm going to start at this end with a pretty big ticket. Ooh, no, I'm not. Oh, there we go. I'm going to start there. I'm going to put that one the correct way. No, I'm not. Oh. I just can't make my mind up, can I? I'm just thinking I'm going to cut this down a little bit. So I don't want one big ticket that's going to look odd if we've just cut a bit off. I'm going to put... Oh! <laughs> I'm just going in a tangle, aren't I? I'm going to put that one on. I'm not keeping them straight. I don't want them straight and perfect. Then I'm going to come in. I'll put something there. There we go. Then I'll come in with a bigger ticket. Yeah, so it won't look odd. That's better. You can come in, dot a bit of glue there where it overlaps. Get your... Yeah, I've got my cosmic shimmer back. I've got the bottle working. There we go. Just wipe it off if it squidges. So I'm just going to put tickets, Katie cornered, all the way up here. I think that might one that one might be a bit blank. Ooh, could we have a creepy crawly hiding? Oh, I really ought to put that in that never ending pile I'm making for Zoe. Paper Eve Creations. I'm sending all the creepy crawlies. I've been getting piled together for about a month. You'll get it eventually, Zoe. Perhaps insects will be extinct by the time you get it. I don't know. Mm, yep, yeah, I like that one there. don't want that one there we could perhaps have a stamp there stamp there so I'm not being mega precise I'll just come in and glue some of these edges again other thing about this paper is it is so thin you can do this bend it back get you some a little bit of glue under edges but you've got that base I'm being a bit uh, willy-nilly with my glue Ooh, and I've just cleaned my mat <laughs> I'll need to clean it again after this and I'm not inking you will notice for a change oh I'm getting very good at this not having to ink everything to within an, an inch of its life we could have some sideways bits as well that's gonna go there I'll pop that there Ooh, could we have a round one I think a round one would look good that's going there about that that there that's going to need quite a bit of glue in it because we've overlapped that quite a lot we'll do this bit first now come straight in under that bit I'm, I'm being really messy with this glue because I've cleaned it it's now coming out far too fast it's catching me out 
Right, so there we go. What we're going to have at the top, again, conscious that I might be wanting to cut this off. Do I want to put that there? Yeah, I'm going to put that there. I didn't have much choice then, it grabbed. And what do I want here? I think that's too wide. I think I want one of these. Or is that, that mirrors that shape too much. Ooh, what about this? A long one. No. <laughs> I doubt we're doing quite well and now I'm getting all faffy. Now I can't decide. Let's get a few more tickets out to look at. Is that too wide? No, I like that. Yes, yeah, so that's going to go there. And underneath it again, I'm just going to bob a little one. Yeah. That's really stuck, isn't it? So, we've already got the bus ticket covered. So we can now come in and pop our butterflies wherever we want. It's collage but not collage. It's like collaging with tickets, isn't it? It's, it's fun, yeah, it's really going mad with that glue. Let's pop a bit under there as well. I could do with have I got a cloth to hand? No, but I've got some kitchen room. Use that. it put it right way around i quite enjoyed that that was so quick right let's grab some flutter buys oh look at that double one i've actually got a plan for double ones so i'm not going to use them oh look at him he's so big um, go on i'll share butterflies where i'll move it over so you can see me rummaging yeah that's better <laughs> good desk it started off perfectly tidy, and now look at it, it's like a war zone. That's a, that's a bit dramatic though, isn't it? It's not quite like what we're liking. Yeah. Am I going to get three on, or do I'm, am I going to get five on? I really don't know. I think I might go for five. Should we try one of these? I do like these. I'm going to ink the butterflies though. <clears throat> then they're going to stand out more from the background. Backgrounds are not in the butterflies are. I do like the cabbage whites. I think I need some smaller butterflies. Ooh, what about yellow? He's nice. I don't know. Oh, I, yeah, I've turned a quick project into a faff and Oh, that's nice. I think I want a smaller one near the bottom. I'll put my bigger one near the middle. And then I might go small again near the top. Ooh, we could stick a cabbage white on. This one's a bit too white. No, I need one with a bit more colour. Shall I put that yellow one on? No, I'm not putting yellow one on. I don't want it on. Oh, what about this one? Cabbage white with a bit of orange. I think it'll look better at bottom. And I think it'll look better at top. And I don't want that one on anymore. What do I like? Ooh him right that's it that's how i'm doing it i'm doing them five yeah so oh i've trapped myself to an ink pad yeah it was just falling apart weren't it my walnut stain distress oxide i've no idea how juicy this will be oh it looks very juicy i'm going to test this on a butterfly i'm not using oh very juicy wow even though I'd re-inked my other one, I did not realise how dry it had become. I'm just having to touch it now to get ink on. We're not using you and I've inked you all up nicely. You can go on other one, mate. Let's do this one. I just want to take that white off edges and it's working lovely. I did obviously cut these so carefully. These are from a book, the same butterfly moth book that I've been. Every time I've had five minutes, didn't know what to do, I've fussy cut. Because I was getting very low on fussy cuts. I'm not going to take all the white off this one. I'm just going to dull it down a little bit. Same with this one, because there's a little bit of white in the butterfly. 
Do you know, some of them are moths. I couldn't tell you which were moths and which were butterflies. They're all much of a muchness for me. The winged things. I'll just put a bit of ink on this one. And then that's one done. So I think I will crack on and do another. You can see how quick you can make these up. They're going to look fabulous as a belly band. You may want to put a piece of card underneath them when you put them in your journal. Oh, look at this. Me likes. Right. I'm going to start by putting that big one in the middle. This is... You know, this is so watery. I got we're gonna have some a bit angled. Don't know. Tell you what woman, put less glue on. It's sticking nice, but it's very watery. Shake it up. I did I wash the tip. That's you. I, I don't mind if it's not glued right to the edges on these. I think just not having your butterflies glued down completely just gives that little sense of movement, doesn't it? Like they could just flutter off your page at any minute. So not too near to top remembering I am going to intend to snip a little bit off so it's going to fit my page perfectly. That's better. That's you. And this last one. So, there we have one. A butterfly pocket, belly band, page edge. Whatever you want to do with it. So let's do another because I enjoyed that so much. I want to repeat the experience. <laughs> we'll pop him over there to dry. There you go, mate. Now let's wrangle this again. Can't remember if I burnished them both. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish. Now it's doing a goldfish project. They said goldfishes. I'm going to have a three second memory. I think I then read something that said that's an urban myth and it's a load of rubbish, but. We'll, we'll stick to goldfish as having a three second memory and I'm a bit of a goldfish. Oh, I've got a story for you about a goldfish. You might not like it though. It's a bit gruesome. Oh, it's terrible actually. It's really sad. <sighs> yeah, I lost a goldfish. God, it's many years ago. Quite a few years ago. I was young. I didn't have kids, I lived on my own, I was single. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, no, no, it weren't just because of that. Right, I'm going to start with a little one at the beginning. I'm going to do this quite mindlessly while I tell you about my goldfish. Poor little goldfish, he didn't have a name. I don't think I named him. I did have quite a few goldfish and I cleaned them out one day. Uh, yeah, and I used to put all the fish into a washing up bowl type bowl at the side of my i'm just gonna randomly put that there side at sink to a clean tank put them all back in but when i come to put them back in there were a goldfish missing one goldfish was no longer there and I'm, i just thought oh, you silly woman it must have been small enough to have jumped out and gone down the sink somehow and i felt really sad about this goldfish Anyway, I didn't get another thought, but a couple of weeks later, uh, I'm doing a bit of cooking. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what I was making, but that bit doesn't stick in my mind. And I had a vegetable rack with, you know, like onions, potatoes, stuff like that. I mean, as you know, onions last quite a long time, don't they? They last a while, do onions. Anyway, I grabbed this onion, went to cut it in half, held this onion in one hand, knife in the other, looked at it. And oh my god, sorry. <laughs> in my hand with the onion was a dehydrated goldfish. Perfect colour match for an onion. So 
Yeah, I told you it was a gruesome story. I'm ever so sorry. But I found the goldfish, didn't I? Poor little thing. It must have been really good at jumping, that fish. To have jumped out at washing up like out washing up bowl and into my veg rack. Yeah, but I still think of that poor little goldfish every time I peel an onion. Oh, I won't tell you about hamsters. No, we don't need to hear about hamsters. Some of you are probably already traumatised from hearing about the goldfish. Right, I'm going to put that one there. That one went a bit more wonky. This trying to do it mindlessly while I was telling you that story didn't quite work, did it? I just couldn't decide what to do. We need a long one there. But then there's that, isn't there? Let's get a tiny one. Let's have a stamp. We've got a little stool. Oh, that's cute and little. That'll do. Then that'll do. I think I might put one of these at the top. Um, what's that one? I think that's a digital ticket actually, but it doesn't matter, I like it. That can go there. Oh, we're cooking with gas again now, I've stopped whimpering about the poor little goldfish. Poor thing. Um, I think we'll have you there, you're upside down though. And then, yeah, I'll pop another little one there, then I'll go in and glue the edges with my glue. What's that one? No, I don't like you. I think I'm going to have that one. Bit of blue. Yeah. So we've got all that covered again. I'm going to go in and just bend this to make sure these are stuck down where they overlap each other. Poor little goldfish. <laughs> Oh, I'll be thinking about that all night now. So yeah, please don't call RSPC on me. It were a lot of years ago. I knew not what I was doing. And yeah. That's that. Animals, they were having animal trouble with my little Phoebe cat at the minute. She'll be 19 in on 16th of May and yeah there's a lot of there seem to be a lot of new cats in area and they've been picking on her poor Phoebe and she's doing her best to try and defend her territory but these cats are just yeah they keep coming out at woodwork it's like words got round that she's getting on a bit and this new territory might be up for grabs but yeah luckily uh, my craft room is on back at house. She spends, if she's not in house, she's on back garden. And if I hear someone come for it, I can get down there quick and, yeah, sort them out. Normally just saying Phoebe and they run off. But, yeah, I'm not, not impressed with some of the local cats. They've been a bit nasty. Right, so let's pick some butterflies. I knew I was going to use that one. I didn't get it ready, Anta. Right. I think I like that one. Oh yes I do. That's little. I could have a little one. No I'm not gonna. I don't want to go for all brown butterflies. What's that one? That's, yeah they're all the same colour these I've picked. I don't want to do the, I need to get cutting more butterflies out. I'm getting low on butterflies again. I've got one of the black and white ones. I've got one that's more orangey. Oh, I could have had him right in the middle. He's, lo he's lovely. He's huge, but he's lovely. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have this one in the middle. And then we'll decide which other ones we're putting on. But yeah, this has definitely been a quick little project. And, you know, far more about goldfish than you ever wanted to. Sorry about that. There we go. I've not had to dip back in that ink again yet. So yeah, it'll pain me to throw that other ink pad away. In fact, I might keep it 
or when I'm doing extremely grungy projects and I want to apply the ink to I've done that one when I want to apply the ink to the edges straight from the pad yeah that's what I might use that one for so we've got we've got five inked up but I think we need something what about that one I think I do want a little cabbage white somewhere I don't even know if it's a cabbage white. Every butterfly that's white coloured, I call it a cabbage white, and I know it's not. So, uh, <laughs> what you know I'm going to say? I hope I don't offend any philatelists out there. <laughs> yeah, that's because I put a stamp on. So, yes, I hope I'm not offending any entomologists out there. Yeah. <laughs> right. We definitely want that big, lovely one in the middle. Definitely. I think I want that cabbage white at the bottom. I do. And we could have him there. Him there. Or him there. No, I've not got enough orange. I've gone from every butterfly wanting to be orange to no butterflies being orange. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. That's it. That's my final answer. I'm not going to ask the audience, I'm not going to phone a friend. So, I'm going to start by sticking the middle one on again. I mean, to be honest, we could have just put this straight onto a piece of card, but if you just want it to edge your pocket by doing it on this thin bus ticket, it just keeps the bulk down a little bit, doesn't it? I don't want to end up with a journal that's got things in that thick, you can't close it. Or you have to limit the amount of other things you can put in because you've got a belly band in that's two inches thick. Let's have you, let's have you a bit sideways, like you're going to fly away. I might not have put him in the middle. you can go there that's it then we've still got room to trim that top to make sure that it fits the page in whatever journal this ends up going up going in yeah i like it's obviously not going to be as quick if you've not got your tickets cut out ready <laughs> if you've got all your tickets cut out ready it's quite a quick little project Yeah, I'm fixated on butterflies. You will probably have noticed from my videos, roses and butterflies are my favourite things to work with. I've just done roses and now I'm all about the butterflies. So there we go. I'm going to call that done. We've done two. I quite like those. You can obviously make them far less chunky than that if you want to. Use smaller tickets, use a thinner strip. I mean, if we look at the back, you can see I've got these overhanging quite a bit but I like them. They actually look like the vision I had in my mind before I started. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching me. And oh, if you do want any, any butterflies in, I'm still not brought this butterflies in frames digital upstairs that I've done. Yeah, bob over to the Buy Me A Coffee site. It is free. And I've just, yeah, my first little foray into digitals. Don't get too excited. It's not outstanding. <laughs> but it's there so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye